Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and good morning. It's so early. It's 10 to 6 in the morning, but we have been up since quarter past five. Uh, because we have a flight to catch. Woohoo! Because today we are heading off to Scotland for mm, about 24 hours. Hello, yes, you're not coming. Um, and the reason we are going to Scotland is because we have been invited to do a mill tour by a knitwear brand called Johnston's of Elgin. Now, they reached out to us a few weeks ago and admittedly, I didn't think that I knew the brand. However, since doing a bit of research, it actually turns out that I have a scarf and so does Simon that were both made in the mill that we're going to visit today. You know, it's not by their own brand. The scarves that we have are by a very large luxury brand of British heritage. But today we're going to visit the mill where those scarves were made and where Johnston's make stuff for their own brand. They use wool, merino wool, cashmere, all of the luxurious stuff. And they also manufacture wool and knitwear etc for some of the largest and most premium luxury brands in the world so naturally i am very excited and we need to get going are you ready yeah nearly <laughs> I'm always waiting on this one. Now I'm quite excited about visiting this mill today just because I've always kind of wanted to see a little bit behind the scenes of how some of the stuff that I wear is made. And just from like a sustainable point of view, I think it's really good to kind of see, well sustainable and ethical point of view, where your clothes come from. And I know this is quite a premium brand, but I'm just really excited to kind of see the whole process, especially seeing as they specialise in one of my favourite fabrics, and that of course is cashmere. So I'm just going to finish waiting for Princess to get ready, and then we're off. <laughs> We haven't just arrived in Scotland, but we have just arrived at, above me there you can see, the Johnstons of Elgin Mill. This is actually the gift shop behind me, which we're about to enter in a moment. Simon's just gone back to the car because he's changing his jumper. But the plan of action for today is we're going to have a mill tour, which actually is open to the public. So anyone, if you guys are maybe up here on holiday or perhaps you live in Scotland and you're quite close by Elgin we'll leave descriptions uh, descriptions sorry <laughs> details down below in the description box for anyone that's kind of interested um, but we're going to go and do the tour and I'm quite interested to see this whole process I don't in all honesty I have no idea what to expect I've never been to a mill or anywhere that deals with knitwear or anything like this before so I'm excited but also just wondering you know what I'm I'm gonna see I've literally just don't know what to expect um, I think we're gonna go and have a spot of lunch first and meet some of the team and then we're gonna crack on with the tour right so this is the first section we're going in this is a wool store so this is where all of the raw fibers are kept you can see it poking out of this little bag here so any of these in hessian sacks these are all the cashmere and the reason they're kept in hessian sacks is because it's more breathable because if cashmere is kept in any other kind of fabric then it can't breathe and it goes a little bit moldy and just not very nice this is some of the cashmere and this roughly not precisely it's about 125 grams probably a little bit more than that and that would essentially make one scarf so if you have a cashmere scarf obviously we're probably going to see some cashmere scarves today just that is going to go into the making of one scarf 
So cashmere is from goats. I believe they're mainly from Mongolia, which I think is where Johnson's of Elgin get their cashmere from. And the goats are combed once a year in spring and then shipped over here. So that's why it has more premium price tag. And it's super, super, super fine. It is the best quality cashmere and the reason for that is because it's taken from two very specific places on the goat so it's taken from like this front chest area and then underneath their belly the reason for that is because those two areas are the areas which are least exposed to the elements so any cheaper cashmere that you might get for example on the high street that would be taken from other places on the goat it's not as fine and therefore not as luxurious soft oh it's so soft right i've just left the wool store and now we're going into the next stage which would be the dye house so we've been told they've got four different processes of dyeing i'm gonna see if i can remember all these so batch which is basically the largest amount and it's essentially just putting what you've just seen all of those natural fibers into a big a big vat if you will and dyeing it all as a big batch <laughs> piece dyeing which they don't do very often and that is actually once a garment is made the actual entire garment will be essentially dipped and dyed that way that is done for very very select items because i think that that is more of a curated process if you will and then there are two other forms of dyeing one is called hank which is basically um, once the threads are already made and it's actually already woven into wool or a cashmere thread and it's dyed that way and then the last process is cone dyeing and that is essentially once it's all wound onto a cone and the cone is aerated with little holes so that the dye can penetrate through and dye an entire cone full of the yarn. And one of the best things about this mill in particular is that they used a water-based dye for all of their dyeing. So that means that it's incredibly environmentally friendly, which of course, at the end of the day, is what we all want. So I'm just going to the next step of the whole process and that's to the dye house. But we have just been shown and I know this might not seem that exciting, but this tree and another tree over there, this tree is a Tibetan cherry tree, which would have come from Sichuan in West China. Now, this is not a native tree to Scotland. So actually what they think is that the seeds of this tree have come in at some point during the importing of the natural fibers, which I think is pretty cool. So now there's just a random, cherry tree here, Tibetan cherry tree, and over there, I believe that's a pistachio tree. having a look in one of the blending bins which has just been opened. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> He's contaminating all the wool. Or is it cashmere? I'm not cashmere, sure. I think it's very soft. Yeah, that is really soft. That probably is cashmere. So look, the, they've opened the door for us so you can see kind of how full this one is. Um, but sometimes, yeah, it can be all the way up here. And these are called blending bins. And basically these whiz around and all of the fibres all blend essentially and then they go across from this one into another one over there so that everything is completely so on blended yeah so what's on the bottom in this one will go into that one so that it's all even and uh yeah and then it's all nicely blended before it goes on to the carding process
just finished doing a tour of all the different separate buildings which you guys will have just seen and actually it's so in it, interesting is the only word I can use it's absolutely fascinating to see all the different stages and processes that go into making something which I suppose I've all seen as something quite simple like a scarf but the amount of detail and the amount of precision that goes into making these things I honestly could have spent all day in there just asking questions and looking at all the various different stages. It's just all these things that you just don't think about when you walk into a shop and you buy an item of clothing. But now we're meeting Jenny, who is going to show us through the archive room. So I think we're going to see some like proper original sort of old pieces and things which yeah. are quite historic and all that kind of thing. It was interesting wasn't it? And it was so Very interesting. interesting. Um, I didn't even know how much effort went into making it. No I know we just stood there like oh, what? Very naive of us but. It probably is a little bit naive yeah, of us very, but very, it was yeah, very really interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah. So now we're going to go into the archive room and have a look and see what what goodies Jenny is going to show us. Right, so we've just finished in the archive room, which was really interesting. There was so much like history and heritage and how they've kept all their books and patterns for so long. I do not know, because this one makes me have a spring cling like every month. You wouldn't be able to keep something that long, would you? Mr. Shop though. Huh? You kept me too busy. Mr. Yeah, Shop. shop's closed, so we'll come back, back tomorrow. Here tomorrow. Yeah, someone's gonna be feeling a little bit spendy, I think now that we've seen so much stuff that we like um so now we're just gonna head back to our or head back head for the first time to our hotel because we've not been yet and then we've got a nice dinner this evening and then we're up early for breakfast not too early and then, not too early a um a little bit of a lay -in. and then we're gonna come back and there's a few like bits and bobs around the mill that i kind of want to revisit just because I'm clearly now a mill nerd and I found it that interesting. So this is our rather beautiful and grand hotel. The Booth House. That's how we pronounce it. Here we go. This is very nice. Hello. <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. God, it's like we're back in Canada. Oh, an open fire. Uh, I'm on fire duty. Yeah, go on, get your stick. You know what no, you do with your again. stick. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Look how cozy it is. Cute. It's a bit of me, this is. I'm going to have a wee seat. Right, we've actually just gone to our room. So you come up this spiral staircase, past this little guy, and then along here. Simon's in there at the moment, but it's so amazing that I'm going to just come back and kind of do a little room tour and get that initial awe. That reminds me of the line, the witch in the wardrobe. It's beautiful. So we're in room number four. Hello, sir. Let me in. Come on, taking your sweet time. <sighs> Look at that bed. <laughs> Don't get any ideas, you. Oh. <laughs> look at it. Look at all this. Oh, look at. Oh, we've got goodies. Oh, nice. we've got there. goodies. I'd completely missed those. Oh, yay. But look, have we ever stayed anywhere like this? And then look at the bathroom. Roll top bath. Look, this is so nice. And you can't really see out of the windows because it's actually going dark now. All right, someone's amusing themselves with the props. Okay. <laughs> um, 
But over here, some beautiful gardens, and then over this side, there's a lake down there. So hopefully we'll be able to see that tomorrow morning. But we need to freshen up and get ready because we've got dinner in like 15 minutes. No, I didn't even notice this, but I got a little gift, look. Yeah. That's very, very kind. Oh, along with my... <laughs> Collection of walls. Collection of stolen walls. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. But someone just could not wait, look. Cashmere socks. Oh, done with oh them. my god, they're personalised. EH. Very swanky. In grey. Oh, I'm gonna wear them tonight in bed. Could have done with them in Canada. I know. Keep your toes no. toasty and warm. Mmm. I got this packaging. Oh What's my that? goodness, I think it's jogging bottoms. Oh, and a hoodie, new loungewear. Mm, very swanky. What? Is it wrong that I want to wear these down to dinner? <laughs> oh, it's so generous. Very generous. Oh, very nice. A nice colour. So soft. Is it a scarf? Yeah, 100% cashmere. Oh. Very nice. Oh. oh. You're going to open yours? Yeah. Come on then. I was, thought I was going to do mine first, but you didn't let me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, come on then. A little something for me. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless, look at his little face. <laughs> the suspense. It's killing all of us. Ooh. Oh. Have you got yours personalised? Yeah, PC. Oh, look at that! Nice. I was saying I like their tartan checks. You did. Is it a check? Is it a tartan a check? Um, yeah, a plaid check. Yeah, yeah. pattern. Yeah, like pattern. pattern. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's oh, like yeah. reversible. That's and so we've seen how those were weaved. Yes, it was very interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. And clever how he done it. Yeah, when you can have like two things on each side. I still don't fully understand how that works, to be honest. It's like magic. Are we try we're trying it on then. Flash and show. We need to move back. Oh, 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 oh dear. <laughs> oh, yes. Very nice. Yes. Very, very yeah, nice. Yeah, we like that. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. We're so lucky. Very. Good morning, everyone. Good morning from Scotland. That's where we've been staying, sleeping last night. Cold, cold Scotland. It's, it's brisk. <laughs> it's chilly. It's a chilly morning. So actually, we're very thankful. Come and show your scarf. Ooh. On brand. <laughs> Hashtag on brand. Can see the colour we are very, today, Yeah, you can, look. Nice. Very nice, isn't it? Mm. Red on the other side. It's very swanky. So yeah, we're quite thankful for these scarves this morning, to be honest. Just had a nice breakfast, had a tea and a coffee, and we're just kind of having a little exploration of the grounds before Daniel, our driver, comes and picks us up and takes us back to the mill. Because it's so pretty, and we obviously arrived here last night when we when the sun was going down, yeah, so we couldn't really dark, couldn't really see much. But it's so pretty. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at that! There's a hammock, there's a little boat. Are you going to get on the boat and go in the lake? Is it a lake or a lock? Uh, I think it's a pond. A pond. <laughs> drive actually just around the coast Daniel took us around the coast through Lossy some little Lossy Mouth and Burghead 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 
and uh, gave us a little bit of history as well. I feel like I've had a little school morning. It's nice. I didn't realise there were so many beaches. No, loads of actual like proper beaches like Cornwall, which is surprising. I knew there was coast, but I didn't realise they had yeah. actual white sand beaches. Very nice. It was really nice. What, what are you up to? Just admiring the view. <laughs> so we've the just had. Very nice. Isn't it? it is, yeah. These are all the original buildings mm. as well, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, we're back here this morning. We're just going to have another little look around the mill. I just want to get some more information just because I found it so informative yesterday and I just enjoyed the whole learning process. Every day's a school day, kids. Um, so that's the plan of action. Then I'm really hoping we've got some time for shopping. We went in here briefly we've yesterday. This is the shop, but we really want to get a blanket for home. And so a sofa whenever we decide for, we're going to get one. Yeah, whatever we decide on. Um, so hopefully we get time to do that. And then I think we're going to have a spot of brunch. We're going to meet some more of the team before heading back home. Right, so we've just finished off having a look at the last few bits in the mill. And we've also just had a little spot of lunch as well, a light bite to eat. And we've just been chatting, chatting a lot about sustainability, actually. I just found it really interesting. Um, and now, just before we leave, we're going to have a, a really quick peek to see if we can find ourselves a blanket. We've been chatting too much, haven't we? We have been chatting too much, it's just because it's like fascinating. Um, so we're going to go and have a look in this bit, which is the home section. Aberdeen Airport. Yeah, do you like it? I've been practicing that in the car, not gonna lie. Um, so we're heading off home now. We're all, look at this, fully, fully swagged up with all our bits and bobs and our nice new cozy blankets. We'll show you that when we get home. Um, we'll also just have just a little sort of catch up when we get home as well, just kind of like our usual final thoughts. Well, we are back from our brief trip in Scotland. Very brief. Very brief. That good? Shattered. <laughs> Absolutely shattered because we had a little delay on our flight and then the M25 was lots of fun as usual. But I think it's safe to say we had a good time. Mm, really good. I really and we it. feel like every day's a school day. I feel like we learnt a lot. There was a lot of things that I had no idea went into the manufacturing of knitwear. I know I've used scarf as a reference a few times throughout this video, but yeah, something like a scarf had no idea how many kind of processes go into making that, which is crazy. And also, like I said earlier on in the video, we did ask loads and loads of questions, primarily for us just because of some of the things that we've changed over like the last couple of years in terms of like how we live and what we buy. We did ask a lot of questions about um, their ethical standards and also sustainability. And we were quite surprised, oh, I say surprised, but I think we were surprised in a good way at all of the different procedures that they use to avoid wastage. I can't remember what the percentage was, but it's such a small, tiny percentage of waste. Small, yeah. They have like all these hoover things that suck up any like loose threads that come up so they can go back to the start line and kind of go through the process. But on like an ethical point of view as well, they just take so many measures. So they are, I can't remember what number they are, but they are now a living wage employer. So all of their workers are paid the living wage. And we just found going around the mill because it is, it's like one of those proper old school companies that is family run business, not like a huge, you know, corporation that's all about the money. They genuinely care about their workers, they care about their brands, and they care about their heritage still as well. And I kind of found that, I suppose, a bit refreshing. Like yeah, you don't was, really get it. You very don't. Often, do you? No, you don't get that vibe anymore. And as we were walking through, there's so many different buildings on the site. It's not just like there's one, you know, mill, which is I think what I thought in my head, it was going to be an old stone building like on the top of a hill. And yeah, 
was completely wrong. But there were loads and loads of different buildings, obviously, for all the different processes. And as we walked throughout, all the workers were so friendly and they knew everyone that we were with. And it, it did almost feel like it was more of a family rather than a rather than a, a business almost. Right, so that's it from us for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions at all, do leave them down in the comments section below and we will try our best to get back to you and to answer those questions. We are by no means professionals on this subject. However, we do feel like we have a little bit more knowledge and insight into wool and cashmere now so hopefully we can answer those questions for you and yeah thank you very much for watching coming on this little mini mill journey with us and we will catch you guys in the next video Bye.